So let's work on some Black Forest Whoopie Pies. We're gonna start by putting together a chocolate whoopie pie batter. We're gonna start first by combining all of our dry ingredients, and that's a little bit of all-purpose flour, cocoa powder, we're gonna do some baking soda, and salt. Okay, okay, we're gonna mix that all together with a little whisk here. Just, I like to whisk my dry ingredients, especially when there's cocoa powder and baking soda and all these things. Helps distribute all the ingredients, break up any lumps. It's gonna require less mixing time when we start adding the dry ingredients. All right, I'm gonna now crack a few eggs. And then we're gonna assemble all of the wet ingredients into the, into the electric mixer. I try to use local free-ranging eggs whenever I can. Um, it's just a great way. They have definitely a lot more flavor. Uh, it's a nice way to support your local farmers. All right, we're gonna combine canola oil and yogurt along with white sugar and brown sugar, the eggs and the vanilla all together. And you can just kind of combine this into the mixer all together. This is a really simple recipe. Everything comes together nicely. It's also got a really big chocolate flavor that I love. Whoopie pies are really simple to make, but sometimes piping them out can be a little tricky. But don't be intimidated. If After you do it a couple times, it's your recipe really easy to do. So I've got these uh, the wet ingredients looking pretty good. I'm just gonna scrape down the bowl a little bit with my rubble spatula. We're just about ready to add the dry ingredients. Once the eggs have been broken up and all the ingredients are combined in the mixer, let's just add those dry ingredients there. It comes together really nicely, really easily. Add that a little bit gradually just so you don't get a any blowouts with all the dry ingredients. Again, we're gonna scrape down the bowl real quick. You always wanna make sure you get right underneath the mixer, right on that dimple there of the, of the electric mixer. That's where the ingredients tend to gather. All right, we're just about finished up. When it's almost, fin almost fully incorporated, but not quite, I pull it off the electric mixer and then I just finish it up with my rubber spatula, just finish the mixing by hand. Again, it prevents over mixing. You can sort of make sure that everything looks good. Uh, I can just look at that. I can smell it. It smells awesome. That's a really chocolatey whoopie pie. The batter's looking great. I'm really happy with that. All right, right now I'm going to just set this aside to sort of relax for a few minutes and then uh, I'm going to show you a few tips on how to pipe out whoopie pies.